My question, is the Obama administration seeking in any way to weaken or overturn pro-life laws and policies in African and Latin American countries, either directly or through multilateral organizations, including and especially the United Nations, African Union, or the OAS, or by way of funding NGOs like Planned Parenthood? Mm -hmm. And secondly, and so we can have total transparency. You know, you know, as a former lawmaker, we always have definition pages when we write legislation. Definitions do matter. Does the United States definition of the term reproductive health or reproductive services or reproductive rights include abortion? I yield to the distinguished gentleman. Congressman, I deeply respect your passionate concern and views which you have championed and advocated for over the course of your public career we obviously have a profound disagreement when I think about the suffering that I have seen of women around the world I've been in hospitals in Brazil where half the women were enthusiastically and joyfully greeting new babies and the other half were fighting for their lives against botched abortions. I've been in African countries where 12 and 13 year old girls are bearing children. I have been in Asian countries where the denial of family planning consigns women to lives of oppression and hardship. So we have a very fundamental disagreement and it is my strongly held view that you are entitled to advocate and everyone who agrees with you should be free to do so anywhere in the world and so are we we happen to think that family planning is an important part of women's health and reproductive health includes access to abortion that I believe should be safe legal and rare I spent a lot of my time trying to bring down the rate of abortions and it has been my experience that good family planning and good medical care brings down the rate of abortion keeping women and men in ignorance and denied the access to services actually increases the rate of abortion during my time as first lady i helped to create the campaign against teenage pregnancy and while we were working to provide good information access to contraception and decision making that would enable young women to protect themselves and say no the rate of teen pregnancy went down I'm sad to report that after an administration of eight years that undid so much of the good work the rate of teenage pregnancy is going up so we disagree and we are now an administration that will protect the rights of women including their rights to reproductive health care the time of the gentleman is expired